C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 2 fractions and decimals page 29 2.1 introduction you have learned fractions and decimals in earlier classes the study of fractions included proper, improper and mixed fractions, as well as their addition and subtraction. We also studied comparison of fractions, equivalent fractions, representation of fractions on the number line and ordering of fractions. Our study of decimals included their comparison, their representation on the number line and their addition and subtraction. We shall now learn multiplication and division of fractions as well as of decimals. 2.2 How well have you learnt about fractions? A proper fraction is a fraction that represents a part of a whole. Is 7 upon 4 a proper fraction? Which is bigger, the numerator or the denominator? An improper fraction is a combination of whole and a proper fraction. Is 7 upon 4 an improper fraction? Which is bigger here, the numerator or the denominator? The improper fraction 7 upon 4 can be written as 1, 3 upon 4. This is a mixed fraction. Can you write five examples each of proper, improper and mixed fractions? Example 1. Write five equivalent fractions of 3 upon 5. Solution. One of the equivalent fractions of 3 upon 5 is 3 upon 5 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 upon 5 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 6 upon 10. Find the other 4. Page 30. Example 2. Ramesh solved 2 upon 7 part of an exercise while Seema solved 4 upon 5 of it. Who solved lesser part? Solution. In order to find who solved lesser part of the exercise, let us compare 2 upon 7 and 4 upon 5. Converting them to like fractions, we have 2 upon 7 is equal to 10 upon 35. 4 upon 5 is equal to 28 upon 35. Since 10 is less than 28, so 10 upon 35 is less than 28 upon 35. Thus, 2 upon 7 is less than 4 upon 5. Ramesh solved lesser part than Seema. Example 3. Samira purchased 3.5 kilogram apples and 4 3 upon 4 kilogram oranges. What is the total weight of fruits purchased by her? Solution. The total weight of the fruits is equal to 3 1 upon 2 plus 4 3 upon 4 kilograms, which is equal to 7 upon 2 plus 19 upon 4 kilograms, which is equal to 14 upon 4 plus 19 upon 4 kilograms, which is equal to 33 upon 4 kilograms which is equal to 8 1 upon 4 kilograms. Example 4 
Suman studies for five to upon three hours daily. She devotes two four upon five hours of her time for science and mathematics. How much time does she devote for other subjects? Solution Total time of Suman's study is equal to 5 2 upon 3 hours, which is equal to 17 upon 3 hours. Time devoted by her for science and mathematics is equal to 2 4 upon 5, which is equal to 14 upon 5 hours. Page 31 Thus, time devoted by her for other subjects is equal to 17 upon 3 minus 14 upon 5 hours, which is equal to 17 multiplied by 5 upon 15 minus 14 multiplied by 3 upon 15 hours, which is equal to 85 minus 42 upon 15 hours which is equal to 43 upon 15 hours, which is equal to 213 upon 15 hours. Exercise 2.1 1. Solve 1. 2 minus 3 upon 5 2. 4 plus 7 upon 8 3. 3 upon 5 plus 2 upon 7. 4. 9 upon 11 minus 4 upon 15. 5. 7 upon 10 plus 2 upon 5 plus 3 upon 2. 6. 2 2 upon 3 plus 3 1 upon 2. 7. 8 1 upon 2 minus 3 5 upon 8. 2. Arrange the following in descending order. 1. 2 upon 9, 2 upon 3, 8 upon 21. 2. 1 upon 5, 3 upon 7, 7 upon 10. 3. In a magic square, the sum of the numbers in each row, in each column, and along the diagonals is the same. Is this a magic square? We have a square with numbers given here. It has three rows and three columns. Along the first row, 4 upon 11 plus 9 upon 11 plus 2 upon 11 is equal to 15 upon 11. The second row has the numbers 3 upon 11, 5 upon 11, 7 upon 11. The third row has the numbers 8 upon 11, 1 upon 11, 6 upon 11. 4. A rectangular sheet of paper is 12 and a half centimeters long and 10 to upon 3 centimeters wide. Find its perimeter. 5. Find the perimeters of 1. Triangle ABE. 2. The rectangle BCDE in this figure. Whose perimeter is greater? We have a figure given here. 6. Salil wants to put a picture in a frame. The picture is 7 3 upon 5 centimeters wide. To fit in the frame, the picture cannot be more than 7 3 upon 10 centimeters wide. How much should the picture be trimmed? Page 32. 7. Ritu ate three-fifth part of an apple and the remaining apple was eaten by her brother Somu. How much part of the apple did Somu eat? Who had the larger share? By how much? 8. Michael finished colouring a picture in 7 upon 12 hour. Vabhav finished colouring the same picture in 3 upon 4 hour. Who worked longer? By what fraction was it longer? 2.3 Multiplication of Fractions 
you know how to find the area of a rectangle. It is equal to length multiplied by breadth. If the length and breadth of a rectangle are 7 cm and 4 cm respectively, then what will be its area? Its area would be 7 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 28 square centimeters. What will be the area of the rectangle if its length and breadth are 7 and half centimeters and 3 and half centimeters respectively? You will say it will be 7 and half multiplied by 3 and half, which is equal to 15 upon 2 multiplied by 7 upon 2 square centimeters. The numbers 15 upon 2 and 7 upon 2 are fractions. To calculate the area of the given rectangle, we need to know how to multiply fractions. We shall learn that now. 2.3.1 Multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. Observe the pictures at the left. Figure 2.1. Each shaded part is one fourth part of a circle. How much will the two shaded parts represent together? They will represent 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 upon 4. Combining the two shaded parts, we get figure 2.2. What part of a circle does the shaded part in figure 2.2 represent? It represents two-fourth part of a circle. Page 33. The shaded portions in figure 2.1 taken together are the same as the shaded portion in figure 2.2. That is, we get figure 2.3. Figure 2.3 In this figure, two circles each having 1 upon 4 parts shaded are combined to form a circle in which 2 upon 4 parts is shaded. Or, 2 multiplied by 1 upon 4 is equal to 2 upon 4. Can you now tell what this picture will represent? Figure 2.4 In this figure, 3 squares each having 1 upon 4 parts shaded are combined to form a square in which 3 upon 4 parts is shaded. And this, figure 2.5 in this figure, three squares each having two upon nine parts shaded are combined to form a square in which six upon nine parts is shaded. Let us now find three multiplied by one upon two. We have three multiplied by one upon two is equal to one upon two plus one upon two plus one upon two, which is equal to 3 upon 2. We also have 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 equal to 3 multiplied by 1 upon 2 equal to 3 upon 2. So, 3 multiplied by 1 upon 2 is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 upon 2 which is equal to 3 upon 2. Similarly, 2 upon 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 upon 3, which is equal to dash. Can you tell 3 multiplied by 2 upon 7 is equal to dash? 4 multiplied by 3 upon 5 is equal to Dash. The fractions that we considered till now, that is, 1 upon 2, 2 upon 3, 2 upon 7, and 3 upon 5, were proper fractions. Page 34. 
For improper fractions also we have 2 multiplied by 5 upon 3 equal to 2 multiplied by 5 upon 3 equal to 10 upon 3. Try. 3 multiplied by 8 upon 7 is equal to dash. 4 multiplied by 7 upon 5 is equal to dash. Thus, to multiply a whole number with a proper or an improper fraction, we multiply the whole number with the numerator of the fraction, keeping the denominator same. Try these. 1. Find a. 2 upon 7 multiplied by 3. b. 9 upon 7 multiplied by 6. c. 3 multiplied by 1 upon 8. d. 13 upon 11 multiplied by 6. If the product is an improper fraction, express it as a mixed fraction. 2. Represent pictorially 2 multiplied by 2 upon 5 equal to 4 upon 5. To multiply a mixed fraction to a whole number, first convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction and then multiply. Therefore, 3 multiplied by 2 5 upon 7 is equal to 3 multiplied by 19 upon 7, which is equal to 57 upon 7, which is equal to 8 1 upon 7. Similarly, 2 multiplied by 4 2 upon 5 is equal to 2 multiplied by 22 upon 5, which is equal to dash. Try these. Find 1. 5 multiplied by 2, 3 upon 7. 2. 1, 4 upon 9 multiplied by 6. Fraction as an operator of. Observe these figures. Figure 2.6. The two squares are exactly similar. Each shaded portion represents 1 upon 2 of 1. So, both the shaded portions together will represent 1 upon 2 of 2. Combine the two shaded 1 upon 2 parts, it represents 1. So we say 1 upon 2 of 2 is 1. We can also get it as 1 upon 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 1. Thus, 1 upon 2 of 2 is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 1. Page 35 Also, look at these similar squares. Figure 2.7 Each shaded portion represents 1 upon 2 of 1. So, the three shaded portions represent 1 upon 2 of 3. Combine the three shaded parts. It represents 1, 1 upon 2. That is, 3 upon 2. So, 1 upon 2 of 3 is 3 upon 2. Also, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 upon 2. Thus, 1 upon 2 of 3 is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 3 upon 2. So we see that of represents multiplication. Farida has 20 marbles. Reshma has one-fifth of the number of marbles what Farida has. How many marbles Reshma has? As of indicates multiplication, so Reshma has 1 upon 5 multiplied by 20, which is equal to 
four marbles. Similarly, we have 1 upon 2 of 16 is 1 upon 2 multiplied by 16, which is equal to 16 upon 2, which is equal to 8. Try these. Can you tell what is 1? 1 upon 2 of 10? 2. 1 upon 4 of 16? 3. 2 upon 5 of 25. Example 5. In a class of 40 students, one fifth of the total number of students like to study English. Two fifths of the total number like to study mathematics. And the remaining students like to study science. 1. How many students like to study English? 2. How many students like to study mathematics? 3. What fraction of the total number of students like to study science? Solution Total number of students in the class is equal to 40. 1. Of these, one fifth of the total number of students like to study English. Page 36. Thus, the number of students who like to study English is equal to one fifth of 40, which is equal to 1 upon 5 multiplied by 40, which is equal to 8. 2. Try yourself. 3. The number of students who like English and mathematics is equal to 8 plus 16 is equal to 24. Thus, the number of students who like science is equal to 40 minus 24, which is equal to 16. Thus, the required fraction is 16 upon 40. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.